Hello, my TLC family. God bless you real good. In this season that we are socially distant or, or physically distant, I want to tell you that our prayers, the prayers of myself, Pastor Joan, and all the other pastors, is that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. And we are eagerly anticipating the day when all of these meeting restrictions are lifted and we can get together with you guys. And, and it's just going to be a tremendous worship experience when you get to do that. And until then, our prayers are just with you that, that your spiritual life and all aspects of your life would just prosper as much as possible. As we have prayed for you, some thoughts have entered my mind and I want to share a few of them, at least one of them with you today and you know you know physical distancing can have significant effects on our social lives but sometimes we don't recognize how significantly it can affect our spiritual life you see god designed the church to operate as a community getting together regularly and encouraging each other and physical distance can sometimes work against god's ideal but the Bible, all through it, declares just the importance of us getting together. We find one such uh, reference in Hebrews 10, and I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. It says this, Discover creative ways to encourage others and to motivate them towards acts of compassion, doing beautiful works as expressions of love. This is not the time to pull away and neglect meeting together as some have formed the habit of doing because we need each other. In fact, we should come together even more frequently, eager to encourage and urge each other onward as we anticipate that day dawning. So the people that this author was writing to were experiencing something in their society that was pushing them apart. And some persons had stopped meeting together with the other believers. And he was encouraging them. He was saying that meeting together as a church is not a nice thing to do. It is an absolutely critical thing to do. So he was saying, do not develop the habit of not meeting together. Because anything you do repetitively, you are creating a habit of it. He was saying, return to the habit of meeting together. And I want to echo that sentiment for all of us. That in this season where we have to be physically distant, we have to use every means necessary to meet together as church. We thank God for online church, the ability to meet together as a community on social media. We, we do that every Sunday morning, 9.15, on YouTube and on Facebook. And I want to encourage us to make it a date to meet together with the rest of the church online as we have church. We might not be physically in the same space, but spiritually we are gathered around the same, with, with the same goal in mind and the same purposes. You see, now, although we have all kinds of things pushing us apart, now is not the time to pull away and neglect meeting together. As a matter of fact, now is the time that we have to be very particular about it. The scripture encourages us, above all else, guard your heart for everything flows from it. Your heart is very important for your spiritual life. And one way to guard your heart is to continue to meet together with your fellow brethren. And in this case, we are doing it online. And as simple as you look, at it just the, the different chats that we do is interaction that helps to to build you up and helps to just keep you connected with everybody else you know the text in hebrews 10 says we need each other and i need you and you need me so i want to encourage you as we um, go longer in this pandemic that now is not the time to pull away but now is the time to eagerly continue to connect with each other because we need each other and as we do that we are built up and strengthened in the world just a few thoughts family god bless you real good see you on sunday as we meet at 9 9 15 on youtube and facebook
God bless you. Read the book.